Hey guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening. Um, if you saw my video recently where I went shopping um, so that I could plant sweet potatoes, and I kind of had a little thing uh, going with the clearance plants that day, and a lot of cute things at Hobby Lobby. So today I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to get some more uh, trellising ideas, and also some of the hose guide um, ideas. So I will probably purchase some things to use at home in my garden, uh, but I wanted to take you along and share those ideas with you because um, I don't know about you, but I need lots of hose guides for my gardening and they're expensive. They are really, really, really expensive and the cheap ones you can get that are plastic, they do not last, um, shoot, maybe a month or two before they start breaking and cracking. Um, what else? So let's, uh, let's get in there, let's look, and let's see what we can get for the garden. And then Walmart had an awesome sale last week on plants, and I did get quite a few. Um, I'm going to go back, I'm going to show you what's available, and I think I may buy another Japanese maple to rescue if there are any available. I thought, well, what if I put one in the ground and give it a new home because Obviously, they're not being taken care of very well at Walmart. Um, I mean, I don't know where they came from. They were probably potted at some nursery or distribution center where they pot up plants to sell. Um, I'm not saying the Walmart people took bad care of the plant. It's just that, you know, um, it had like stem rot about three to four inches or so. Anyways, we're gonna go see what's available and uh, get back home. The first thing that caught my eye was this wall trellis. It's not what it's intended for, but that is what I would use it for. It actually had uh, holes that you could bolt it to the wall. And of course, I looked at the fall decor, love the colors, um, the mugs, I'm a sucker for mugs. And then I found this beautiful galvanized planter and I really kind of liked it. It was really big, but I didn't like the price, so I passed on it. I uh, was looking for also an outdoor planter uh, for like uh, bouquets. I did buy this butterfly galvanized planter and we're going to use this in a future video to make a hose guide for the garden. And they had the cute little egg holder for your counter. I thought that was so cute. This is a, a plant stand, but I'm going to use it as a side table outdoors. And they had these cute little ceramic, I think, bird baths. Um, I think that's a cast iron little bathtub. It would be so cute in a bathroom. And then I don't know if these are toothbrush holders or little cactus planters. And then I fell in love with this little piggy uh, cookie jar, but I told myself I can't get it unless I make room in the kitchen for it. But it's so cute. Very cute. And then a cute little cat planter. Uh, they had a garden apron that would be great for someone that likes to wear aprons. They had a couple different bird houses. This was kind of a cool concept, a water can and sprayer. I really did like this um, large vase, but it didn't have a hole in it and it was so expensive. And now I'm looking at uh, the obelisk again and the trellises. They do have a good selection, I thought, for a craft store. I have bought these um, in the last trip and I did put them in the garden and they look really good. We'll see how they hold up over time. And so on to more stuff. So they had these mushrooms in both ceramic and metal. I bought the metal ones on my last trip, put them in the garden, and they're working great as a hose guide. Might even go get a couple more. I did get this cute little gnome planter as well. I bought this for a friend. I thought it was kind of cute. And just some more random stuff that I thought was cute garden decor. Um, let's see what else is coming up here. So I also went down the aisle that had like uh, wind chimes, which are good for deer um, noisemakers to help keep the deer away. And also, um, while I was looking at the wind chimes, I think I might go get the one that's yellow with the bee on it. I think it's so cute. Um, more random stuff, <laughs> I like that umbrella. But these here, this I did buy one to try in my raised bed area. Um, preferred the red one versus the yellow sunflower 
and more pinwells that helps with uh, birds to keep them away from like your berry plants um, so that is something you can also buy at Hobby Lobby um, okay so I was looking at the bird little bath thingies I bought this one the light gray um, I may go get a couple more Actually, I bought the blue. I think I bought the blue. This one I liked, but it was so top heavy. I didn't get that one. And I think that's about it, guys. So I did go down the clearance aisle and I found this, which I can use as a uh, like a seed shifter or also it can cover a new plant to keep the deer and the rabbits off from nibbling. I did not film in Walmart. Um, it's getting ready to storm really bad. It's one of those beautiful late spring storms where the sky is so angry right before it just releases everything. So I'm going to drive home and hopefully make it home before the rain. Oh, did you see the lightning? Okay, got to go guys. Bye. I did grab some clearance bulbs at Walmart and when we got back home it was raining so I left them out there to soak before planting. Stay tuned guys for next.